you know, it, there is a guy in sports, for whatever reason, he's got a lot of different uh, nicknames, okay? Sweetheart, uh, gentle, kind, grateful. Wholesome. Easy to be around. Why is it that Keith Oberman is a uh, – he's got this reputation of like you – know, he's like a bundle of joy to be around. Is that, is that a true rumor? She's getting hydrated. Do I have my – like, we, listen, we may have to fire me, our research team. Where's my drink? Team. Where's my glass of wine or my shot of tequila? For God's well, what, sake. what is he like? Because I There's just two. watch this guy on Twitter. I'm like, is there a person more bitter, angry, and ungrateful than this guy? What's Miserable. he like to work with? Miserable human. No, he wasn't like that to work with. Interesting. He wasn't. What happened he was to fine. Him? I would love to know. Do you think he'd come on my show? Oh, I would. Oh. I would. I would I pay, pay for that. that. <laughs> I would pay for that. For I'm sure. gonna invite him, but and then he'll go on and tweet about how dumb I am. You know. Again, it's funny because he has my phone number. He has ways to reach me. And if you have a problem with anything I'm saying, what a concept! Pick up the phone, send a text. But these people are cowards, and Keith is at the top of the list. You think Keith is a coward? Yes. Why is he a coward? Talk to my face. You sat on my show, by the way. He was It was my Sports Center show. Can you and, pull it up? And, yeah. and he filled in for my co-host at the time uh, several times. Um, and the funny thing is, and I say this, I'm, like, I'm glad he, he likes dogs. I get, he likes to find dogs' homes, and it's a beautiful thing that he does yeah, yeah. on the Twitter every day. Yeah. So I, the show is in Bristol. Sports Center is in Bristol. But they needed Keith to fill in or asked him to fill in for whatever reason. Because this is the third time at ESPN at this point, right? He's been fired a couple other times. The I third time. I think so, this too. Point. And so you bring him back in, and he's going to fill in a couple times and maybe do some baseball tonight. And they were like, can you go to New York instead of him? coming?" I'm like, why? I have three kids. I'm home. I'm doing all my stuff. Like, well, he can't, he can't leave his dogs for a night. I need, I need <laughs> I, you to – can you go to New York? I was like, okay, I'll work it out with my ex-husband. He'll take the kids. And you know what? I'll get a nice dinner in New York City. It's better than, you know, central Connecticut outside of Hartford. So, I, But he was kind. And I went into his office. I was like, how are you? Wait, wait, let's just back up. For those of us sports center fans from back in the day in yeah. particular – he was one of the goats. Yes. Overman, Dave yes. Patrick. Are you kidding me? Sick. Like the he, best. And right. so I yeah. well, I was excited yeah. to work with him because he was past tense. And it passed him by at this point yeah. a couple years ago, the last time I hosted with him. But it was like, it's Overman. Like, this is amazing. And yeah. just to watch him and watch, he's a beautiful, he's a writer. Like, he's a, he was a journalist. Yeah. But then you leave ESPN and MSNBC and CNN and where else did he work? In every single place you get fired. So at some point, my dad says it, my retired Army Colonel West Point graduate dad, you got to look in the mirror every once in a while. And what's your track record? His track record is crap. So when people continue to hire somebody, when you know what they're going to bring, yeah. that's on you. He was kind. He was fun. I was silly with my Instagram video. And I'm yeah. like, hey, Keith. And we chatted it up. And he didn't start attacking me until he yeah. learned, I guess, that I had more center right leanings. And therefore, I, I'm the devil. Was it Trump? Like, now, here's my question, though. Did this happen uh, like seven years? When did he start? Turn into this angry, bitter person. Because I think, I think personally, there's something deeper. Oh, there is. I mean, there, there's something going on. And mind you, I'm not one to talk. I'm on the market. I'm dating. I'm trying to get married. I want to have kids. He does. He's not married. He doesn't have any kids. No. Apparently, these dogs are really important. And then I looked up what what would make somebody so angry and bitter. And on his Wikipedia, and I'm not this. I'm not. I'm just stating a fact. In 1980, he tried leaping onto a New York City subway train, and he suffered a head injury, which permanently upset his equilibrium. Maybe, maybe I've that never with Trump, that. De, maybe with Trump derangement syndrome is just oh, uh, because how do you go from that person to this angry bit? And what do he say? What do he say about her, Rob? She's the dumbest, dumbest person I've ever worked with. Something <laughs> is wrong in here. Something is wrong in here, and I think there needs to like there needs to be a practice started by psychiatrists for what Trump derangement syndrome does to people, and that's all their specialty is. Well, like, he was miserable before Trump, and then it just okay. Went, see, I didn't know. Okay, okay, that that, that no, was, no, yeah. he was. Yeah. Okay, he was. I didn't know that. But yeah. but I don't really. I, and by the way, I mean, I, I call me all the names you want. I've been there, done that. I'll take it. I don't care. I don't care what you think because I don't respect you. Number one, but number two, like d okay, dumb. I I don't know. ESPN. Paid me a lot of money for many, many years, so I don't know how dumb I am. But again, like 
And by the way, I don't even, I don't block, I think I've blocked like 12 people on Twitter ever, maybe a few more, but I don't block him. He can say what he wants. I silence him because I, I choose to not have certain energies good, around good, me. Good. Mm. And you can sit there and read it all. And then you go, then you're tempted to do what? Oh my God. Oh my, and and yeah. I used to do that. And a couple times a year, I'll go back at him. I did it recently. So once or twice a year. You just have fun with it. Just have fun with it because I'm like, dude, you like get a life. Yeah. He stands on the balcony with, overlooking Central Park. And then he talked about all the Does women he that money? he dates. And Does he have money? I, I would hope so after all those contracts at all those places. But it's just the point is it's such a talented human being yeah. mm -hmm. who has made a choice. I say it to my kids all the time. Happiness is a choice. He is choosing misery and to be hateful towards others and so congratulations enjoy your life yeah yeah i'll, I'll read about another person yeah he, he he should have money he's been around the block for a minute and he's done well for himself so if you like this clip and you want to watch another one click right here and if you want to watch the entire podcast click right here